they're here. Who? The ones my father and went to go get. They're coming by horseback and by buckboard. Coming all over from the valley. They sure are. Looks like it's going to be a major powwow. Why are you smiling? My pa is all frowns when he left. He says this is serious stuff. Well, your pa's right. It is serious. I'm just pretty sure that some good is going to come out of the bad. Well, how do you mean? Well, what would you give to to see the farmers stand together and just face down those ranchers? You mean beat them? Like a big bass drum. Marty <laughs> Clint. That would be something to see. <laughs> You're early. Then again, maybe you're late. We already know the results, right? Why are you talking to me like that, please? What's Philly got to do to get a drink around here? Well, Cody, it's election day. The bar's supposed to be closed. But seeing as how we've broken every other decent democratic tradition, Carson. Why you keep fussing like somebody's doing you wrong, lazy? Buck Buchanan's going to be the best mayor this town's ever seen. He's going to be... Of course, you're, um, you have a higher opinion of his politics than I. Thanks. Where is old Buck right now? Well, him and Dale went over to the newspaper to make sure that the headline's ready for tomorrow's edition. Buck Buchanan elected. <laughs> you know, Buck sure gets carried away sometimes, now don't you? Yeah, I guess we're just lucky he didn't stop at the store for a crown and a scepter. <laughs> Still, it's a good excuse for a party tonight. You bring him, May? May? Who's May? When you slipped out earlier, I sort of thought that maybe you were headed up to the McGill's farm. That old dust bowl? I tell you, I hope I never have to set foot on that place for the rest of my days. Um, you saw May, did you? Yeah, I saw her. Maybe you explain something to me about that woman. I mean, I was being real big about it, right? I went back there, told her I was going to give her one more chance to take my ring back. And she flat refused me. Imagine. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I've just about had it with women, folks. Or at least that woman, in particular. Well, she is a rare one, Cody, but I'm kind of sorry that you're letting her slip away. Me? She's one who's too damn proud to say yes to my proposal. Besides, earlier you were talking about how worried you were about Buck not wanting me to marry her in the first place. I was worried about you being one of Buck's hired guns. I want to be a rancher, Blaze. Someday I hope to be a rich one, too. Well, honey, you can do that with a Colt pistol. Or you can do it with hard work and a good woman by your side. I know what I'm doing. Well, I hope so, honey. Well, soon as how you're not escorting me to this party tonight, maybe you'd like another maybe you'd like to make another girl very happy. Why, Miss Blaze, I would be downright honored. Not me, cowboy. And Luann. Luann, come here, darling. Yes, ma'am. You know Cody, don't you? Hi, Cody. What can I do for you? Isn't she cute? <laughs> I don't have to tell you men what we're facing here. It's the end of everything that we built and sacrificed for. But it doesn't have to be the end. Not if we all stick together. Clint, what's the matter? If you took all the faith in this room, it wouldn't fill a thimble. Your pa's got his work cut out for him. I don't see John Carter. Yeah, you won't either. Carter packed up his family and abandoned his farm. He says it ain't worth holding out against Buck Buchanan, not if his, his little Sally has to get poisoned for it. Well, well, I know I can blame the man for pulling up his stakes. This year's been hard on Carter. He ain't the only one. Well, I hear what you're saying, Phillips. But I'll tell you what, the last thing we should do is give up on our farms and run. That's just giving in to Buck Buchanan. Give in or give out. What's the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, look, we all know what happened to your last crop, Phillips. Buck's men drove a herd right through your farm and tramped down everything but your house. He can have the damn house. I just want to protect my kin. Oh, right. I'm into that. They burned down my barn. I could break their necks, but 
that don't grow no beans. <laughs> now, Bain, what they did to your farm was a crime. But the way to stop it is to make good laws and enforce them. You don't turn tail and run. But men don't care about laws. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Why don't they give Paul a chance? He's making perfect sense. Well, I face it. They'd rather look the other way. I can't do that. That's giving up everything they've ever dreamed of. Listen to me. Just listen to me a minute. You know, Monroe, the worst is yet to come. Tonight is the so-called election. <laughs> and we all know who's going to be the next mayor, don't we? Yes. I'll tell you something else. Once Buck's in office, he's going to control everything he hasn't already bought or stolen. You said it, Slim. We may as well sell to Buck while we can. Yeah. Jesus, I had to lose everything. Well, but think about your families, about the future. That's exactly what we're thinking of. If we don't sell now, our wives and kids are going to be starving by this time next year. I can't take this anymore. I think you are. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, my ears can't believe that they're hearing what they're hearing. I was under the impression that they grew them kind of tough in this part of the country. Who <laughs> the blazes are you, little man? Name's Clint. He works for me, and I trust him. Go ahead, Clint. Thanks, Monroe. I had a family and a ranch not so long ago. And I, I know what it means to lose both of them. I also know what it means to put the ones you love in, in danger. But I also know that it's a heck of a lot harder on kids to have to grow up knowing that their ma and pa turned tail and ran away from what's right. Sure, you can sell out and let Buck Buchanan win. Or you can stand together and you can beat him and you can win. We just look him square in the eye and we stare him down. I ain't afraid of Buck. But he's got a whole army. Yeah, so do you. So do you. You outnumber Buck Buchanan and his gang. You could ride into town tonight and vote for your own mayor. Now, listen, Clint's got the right idea there. This is an election, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, no one's stopping us from going in there to vote. Buck's guns will stop us. That's right. That's right. Or is this stranger hoping to lead us to slaughter? It doesn't have to be that way. We can use Gandhi's method. Well, it's non-violence. <laughs> non-violence. Look, the election is being held at some social dance, right? Yes. Yeah. So. All right. So we all go in there, unarmed. Unarmed. We go in unarmed. Husbands, wives, boyfriends, sweethearts, and we dance, and we vote, and we change the history of this whole damn town. And we all get killed doing it. Yeah. Not if it's if we go in there together, Buck Buchanan will back down. What if he does that? Yeah. Mr. Phillips, you can back out right now if you want to. You can sell out right now. Nobody's going to stop you. But I've got a very strong hunch that the next town you run to, you're going to run smack dab into another Buck Buchanan. Now, I say that you stand your ground here and you pitch the battle now. You may be a fool, mister, but I like the way you talk. Besides, I love to dance. I'm with you. <laughs> Babe, is it? Yes, sir. Much obliged. There you go. See, now there's three of us. No, Pop, there's four. Five. All right, buddy. All right. All right, now, gentlemen, if Buddy and May have the gumption to go into town tonight, can the rest of you fellas really stay at home and crawl under the bed? No, no, I guess not. Nobody can say that Slim ever ran away from a fight. I know you. <laughs> <laughs>